Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Director of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban, Ms. Prithvi Kapoor Mart, Ms. Pum Zile Ndoni Silkelu, Mr. Sipiwe Mchuru, Mr. Piyush Khandelwal, distinguished guests and online viewers. Namaskar and welcome to episode four of Antar Than in a Tone, a series of interactions between two artists about their experiences of synchronization of their inner tones or internal rhythms with the expectations of performances and programs. Indeed, today in our midst, we have two very versatile singers, and that is Prithvi Ji and Pumzile Ji. Just to give you a brief background on Prithvi Ji, uh, Prithvi Kapoor Machi is an advocate by profession from India, currently working with Deloitte and Touche in Amshlanga. Her musical journey started at the age of five. Her mother, Vidushi Indumati Ashwanta Narayana, was her first guru, and she started formal training at the age of seven. At the age of 10, she was a state topper in Karnatic Classical Music Board Junior and completed her senior grade music in the state of Karnataka. She, along with her sister, have undergone classical vocal training from the scholars like Sri uh, Guru Srinivasa uh, Prasanna and Guru Srinath and Jnana Saraswati Professor Nagamati Srinath. A versatile singer and loves to explore music of all genres. She sings in Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, Sanskrit, Malayalam, Hindi and English. Prithviji moved to Durban a while undergoing her Vidwa training under Vidwan Professor Nagamani Srinath in Bangalore at Gurukula. She still continues to learn from her gurus. She has aired on SABC, Radio Lotus, Himawani on many occasions. She firmly believes a sadhana is the way to learn a profound art form such as Karnatic music. For Prithviji, music is an ocean and there is no end to learning. She currently teaches music and heads the Sadhana School of Karnatic Vocal Music. We welcome Ms. Prithvi Kapoor Mat, who will be interacting with Ms. Pumzile Ndoni Mseleku. Uh, uh, Pumzile Ji is one of the five finalists for. Uh, South African idols and is a passionate uh, singer. We welcome the two very dynamic ladies for their interaction for Antartan episode of four. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Shishti, for your very uh, kind introduction. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Yogiji, for this opportunity. And I'm very humbled that you uh, have been very uh, kind to me at many occasions. Uh, I'm uh, pleased to meet you, Sipriviji. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, uh, invitation. It is indeed a very uh, one of a kind sort of a, uh, program that you guys have put together. Uh, the past few uh, episodes that I've uh, gone through has been very interesting. And, and as a musician, I can sort of relate to what uh, they say. And it's, it's, it's very comforting in, on many levels. Uh, so... Um, um, I'm very glad for this invitation. Thank you very much, uh, Shishti. Antartan, uh, Antartan, Antartal, um, for me, is, um, is something that is very constant. It's not something that just uh, switches on or off. It's something that is constantly there. And for me, I can reach out to it at any time of the day at any point of at whatever frame of mind i am that 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 uh, tone is something that is very uh, near and dear to me that is some whether i'm sad i'm happy that music it just lightens up the mood in many on many levels it's more therapeutic to me than um any anything else, I suppose it's um, you. You may have known that music is very much on many levels, is very therapeutic. So, so for me, I can so uh, it resonates with me. It 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 is so um, 
it is i'm very inseparable when it comes to music so in antartan is in my reach always it's always there and um whether i am cooking or whether i'm whatever i'm doing i'm constantly humming so it's it's such an inseparable part of me so uh that rhythm is there in everything the way you would interact with your child the way you would um in your normal course of your day it's something that's vibrating within you constantly so that's uh music and antar that antartan to me the rhythm is to me so yeah oh for me i can say inner tones inner tone means is that um, is the vocal sound with the reference of its strengths its weaknesses um the pitch you know and everything so i feel like this the inner tone for me the low how low it can go how high range in everything yeah antartan uh, to it's it's something that comes in very naturally it's not something that you um if you are a musician uh if if you even you don't have to be a musician even if it if you are an avid listener if you are a lover of music you can relate to it very quickly it's something that uh, you you don't need to be singing per se i have known many um uh, avid listeners who to whom um the tone is something that they may not be able to sing or they may not be able to play but they that rhythm is there in them constantly so to bring that in a musical practice um uh, would be after a certain time would become very effortless i suppose it, after a lot of effort <laughs> it will become effortless but initially it is a lot of persistence it is a lot of discipline that goes into it to get to a certain stage where it uh, flows in very um calm and uh, effortlessly so uh, to bring it out in a performance i think performance is very much a by product of learning it's uh, for me it is a by product i don't learn to perform Le- performance is something just happens as by the side it's um i never planned to become a performer per se um it just happened by chance as along the way so uh but the consistency in practice that consistency in sadhana what you call what we call in carnatic music um is very very basic and very very vital for a musician no matter uh, the genre i suppose um uh whether you are a classical musician or a, or not it doesn't really matter so that sadhana is very um very very basic to uh, to attain a certain um rhythm that you could you can master i suppose master is quite a big word to use but i suppose <laughs> you know you know what i mean so uh, to to attain a certain level of um understanding towards or the way that music will resonate to you i suppose so uh, sadhana is i think the only way that you could even get close to that um uh, rhythm or that tone antartan for me what helps me the way i get it um i meditate meditation helps a lot um and vocal warm ups um vocal warm ups um it helps me get right pitch um it helps me with my range you know meditation and vocal warm ups you never ever ever go wrong with them yeah when it comes to uh, musical experience um it's i mean it may sound very cliched uh but it is it is just coming out of my experience after a certain time where you have um felt that music 
within you 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 feel that vibrations within you it becomes so um, inseparable from you so wherever you go the music is there with you so but when when it it's there when when you can of course there are different different ways of uh, bringing it out but when it comes to when you try to do the sadhana when you sit to do that practice that when you tap into let's say you you are starting to learn a set particular i'm starting to learn a particular raga mm. and when you when you understand that particular uh, raga's vibrations or that when i say raga i mean a set of notes put together yeah. uh, and uh, and these every raga has a has a particular um, emotion it conveys so to the moment you listen to that particular raga for at least 5 10 minutes that sort of the mood gets set you know uh, there are many raga you can't sing on concerts because it makes you very emotional you probably start crying so so they, they stick to short pieces and uh, you know brief um, items but when it comes to exp- experiencing that at home when you're doing your uh, practice at home of course there are no boundaries uh, uh, to practice to practicing that at home when you when you get into that zone what you call of zone zone of um, music that vibrations lifts you completely um to a place that only that the person who's singing it can feel it where in that zone it's nothing else but you you and your music or that divine force that is creating that kind of music with you being the medium so uh, again as i said sadhana opens up that one step every every moment you start uh, delving into it one more step opens up and you are astonished and you are it's eye opening for every step of the way so sometimes you cannot get enough of it Uh, you you can keep going hours together to practice it um it's it's that that feeling of euphoria when you get it when you start practicing or when you start singing um i think i think every musician will be able to relate to me in when it comes to that um uh, feeling of um, uh, what i said you know the the where where you it's in that zone and you are it's just you and your music and nothing to disturb you and you can just uh, keep at it keep going so uh, yeah i've been very fortunate to have experienced that and i'm longing to uh, dive deeper and deeper day by day I feel like it's more like the meditation and um, vocal warm ups oh how it how it makes me feel oh yes, yes. how can i forget about that <laughs> it makes me feel it makes it heals me first i'm going to say that it heals me whenever i'm feeling down um it heals me whenever there's something that hurts me or something it makes me it, it, i feel healed and i feel motivated when i feel like i want to give up on something when everything is not going according to the way i want it i feel more i know how to to motivate myself with my inner tone and i feel good afterwards yeah oh definitely uh, uh, undoubtedly i am an instrument as i said i am only a medium why i was chosen i don't know i've been very fortunate to have uh, um been blessed uh, to uh, to be given a voice that people think it's um it's melodious i am very uh, it's why um there's undoubtedly an an intervention uh of of the divine when you are um how else would you explain that feeling of um that music that the way that music vibrates within you and um it's very difficult to explain it without 
an intervention of the uh, divine. Well, that's when it starts to become more and more clear that you are merely an instrument or a medium to to um, to basically speak that language of uh, music. So I definitely think yes, uh, I am um, an instrument to invoke that uh, intertone. In a yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm also an instrument because I remember I was once told, like your vocal your vocal warm ups. They're more like your guitar strings. So the time you do your vocal warm-ups, you do everything, um, you, you you it's more like you're tuning them like a guitar. So yeah. I also feel like I'm an instrument with my vocal cords. So when I do my warm-ups, I'm tuning for my inner tone, you know, to be smooth and everything. So I, I also feel like an instrument. No, definitely, absolutely. The the absorption, uh, as I said, remember when when we are um, practicing a certain rag or um, any rag for that matter, music as it, in general, you you are it's 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 a um, it's sort of a resonation. You the more you put in the more you get back it's it's sort of a rebound sort of a, a feeling when you when you sing a certain uh, uh, phrases in that particular raga and when you hear yourself there's another uh, pattern that comes into mind so 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 for me that that, obs that is absorb absorption of uh, that sense of absorption is that is my communication with music it, it's very much, um, and that energy, I think, comes from uh, uh, the universe. Of course, there's an, it's, it, there is a limitation in terms of how much you can absorb in a lifetime, but um, there is no limit as to um, how much you can uh, achieve or how much you can um, uh, take in or how much you can learn. There is no end to, I have not seen anyone saying, I've not heard anyone saying that um, I know everything when it comes to music because everyone gets uh, scared of that because as much as we can um, absorb, we can in one lifetime, we, were, we, we, um, we should, uh, if you, for anyone who has learned music, I think would agree with me that, you know, if you have that, if you have got that flavor, uh, you are ready to take in more. You will, you will be willing to take in more. So, uh, out of the, the, out of the unlimited and infinite universal energy, uh, there's definitely a, um, uh, no boundary in terms of how much you can possibly learn or how much you can possibly absorb um, of that inner tone. Yes, I, I really do feel connected with the universe energy. Um, I, I, I mostly feel like I'm more connected to the nature. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how, but I feel like I'm more connected to the nature, like the trees. I can even hear like the birds, like the singing and everything. I just, I, 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 I I'm, I'm more connected with the nature when I'm, you know, when I'm in that yeah. world. Yeah, like it's very relatable to uh, uh, to me being an instrument or a medium to uh, to music. You know, it's um, there's always that backing of the, uh, or the confidence that um, the sadhana gives you to be able to do justification to your music when you perform. So that justific that confidence comes in from that uh, um, that universal energy that. Um, puts into you to say you can do it this is fine you can manage you will be able to do it you know it's one of those things that i can never say that it's all me it's 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 never it's never that so there's always a reason for everything 
with this for me being able to speak a language such as such as profound as music there's definitely uh, uh, someone up there who's been very kind to me uh, probably of some deed that i did in some janam but it's been uh, uh, it has been an honor to be that medium uh, to to be able to uh, convey the uh, the language of music uh, to to the rasikas or the to the listeners most definitely cause there are times where i perform something that i never rehearsed like sometimes i'm like okay what just happened there because i never rehearsed whatever i did on the set i never rehearsed it but sometimes it just feel like this this great it's greater energy this just takes over me even the way i move even the way i sing and even i try to stop it there is no way of stopping it it happens randomly so i really really think that sometimes when i perform there's a greater energy that takes over me that's yeah that can be tricky sometimes but um well i've i've been fortunate enough to uh have met with the expectation of the audience and the um, uh organizers of of any event that's been that i've been part of uh but the synchronous synchronization that you're talking about i think very much comes from the team that is uh, presenting all together it's not just me who singing it's it's the music- musicians that are playing with me they play a very huge role to because they're not it's not me who's playing it's we who are playing so the kind of um uh energy that we together and the the, the synchronization within amongst us plays a big part in uh meeting the expectation with the um, audience uh as a whole i think when when the synchronization with the musicians happen uh the expectations uh get met very uh, fairly easily um uh in performances that's my take yeah <laughs> yeah i can say it does happen sometimes where you're going to be invited maybe in a um, r&b or hip hop um um event and you i know myself most of the times i'm more like a traditional traditional um artist but man i can say i try i try so hard i try so hard for them to understand me and try to 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 spice it up you know i i i really i really try so hard yeah conflict um uh, as in in terms of what is expected out of me uh maybe i have disappointed some of them uh, depends upon um, uh, the kind of genre that they uh, came in to listen to so i am mostly i only sing uh, carnatic music i am not such a um uh devotional music i'm not someone who i don't think i can justify just make um justice to devotional music carnatic music has always been my um forte so uh maybe if you have a crowd of people who are expecting a a, a devotional uh, type of music maybe i have uh, disappointed them um by giving them a piece of carnatic version of it because uh that may be a disappointed or a conflict uh, uh that may have appeared but um i think carnatic music uh, uh or any f- classical form per se will, uh, requires um it's an acquired taste if i may say so it's not something that uh, anyone would catch uh, a liking to it's something that you need to uh, get used to and you will realize that it's quite intricate on its own so uh and devotional music is very relatable but instantly you can connect to it it's it's um that may not be the case for carnatic music if you are a listener who's 
um, who hasn't heard classical music uh, so often. So I think that's where the conflict, I think uh, for me, I have faced. Uh, but otherwise, um, I've been, as I said, I've been fortunate enough to meet expectations uh, of the Rasikas, of the listeners. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I really do feel like that. Whenever I feel like, as I explained, um, like whenever you are invited, maybe in another genre, um, concerts, maybe it's, it's about hip hop and, and everything. So sometimes I feel like that when I feel like, okay, ish, everybody's R&B, hip hop and everything. And here I am with my own thing. <laughs> so it makes me feel like, oh my God, these people are not really expecting what I'm going to do, whatever that I'm going to do right now. So I, I really, really feel like that sometimes. Yeah. Lastly, Prithviji, what is your goal your or aspiration to achieve internally through your journey of music? Music. You know what? I I really uh, hope and pray that I keep continuing the journey to learn uh, music throughout as many years as I possibly can sing. That's my only internal goal. Um, but lately, I I noticed that I. I'm sort of becoming a pushy mother where I want my daughter to also dive into the um, um, uh, uh, on this genre of music. So uh, although she's still quite young to get into it right away, but um, there is a parallel learning that happens in, in kids of this uh, uh, generation, I think. So they, I think my goal has become sort of to bring her into the field of music without having to push her. That is a challenge. <laughs> for her to uh, pick it and rather not me picking for her is a challenge. But I think I, I can see that, uh, that as I said, the parallel learning is happening with, with kids of that age. So uh, let's just hope that it sticks throughout. I, I suppose my, uh, my uh, I hope I achieve if I, I have achieved, if she also comes into the same field, like how we followed my mother. So I think that's my only um, uh, uh, goal externally, I suppose. Yeah. Um, firstly, um, I, 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 I was in IOS SA last year and I got eliminated in top five. And um, I got a recording deal from one of the biggest um, record labels in South Africa, Kalawa Chesme. So for me, I see myself as okay. I, firstly, as I said, I, I don't see myself as an as a musician only. You know, I see myself doing a lot of things because also I also wanna act. I also wanna do acting. I see myself as a brand. I also wanna um be in like um, a commercial model. You know, I wanna I, I really see myself doing great things. I really see myself doing great things, not only as a musician only. Yeah. I'll be singing uh, uh, quite a, a beautiful um, uh, composition. It's uh, it's called as Maitrim Bhajata. This was it's in it's in Sanskrit. It was written by uh, Jagat Guru Sri Chandrasekhar Saraswati. Uh, he was the par Paramacharya of Kanchi. This was. Um, First sung by um, Ms. Sublakshmi Amma on stage in uh, in the UN. It's a very beautiful piece. It's in uh, two rags. Um, it's called as Maitrim Bhajata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh
मैत्रीम भजत अखिल रुजेत्री मैत्रीम भजत अखिल रुजेत्री मैत्रीम भजत अखिल रुजेत्री मैत्रीम भजत अखिल रुजेत्री आत्मव देव परे पश्चत आत्मव देव परे पश्चत युद्ध यजत स्पर्धा यजत युद्ध यजत स्पर्धा यजत यजत पर शोकमणाक्रमण त्यजत पर शोकमणाक्रमण मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्री मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्री पृथ्वी का मधुघास थे जननी पृथ्वी का मधुघास थे जनको देव हो सकल दिया जनको देव सकल दिया दाम्यता दाता दया जनक दाता दया जनक श्रेय भूया सकल जना श्रेय भूया सकल जना श्रेय भूया सकल जना श्रेय भूया सकल जना श्रेय सकल जना Sorry about that interruption. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Prithvi Kapoor. Marked. That, that was obviously a very fine, chilling, and uh, goosebump experience that we just uh, heard right now. And thank you so much to Miss Kumtila as well. We've come to the end of episode four of Antartan. I would like to now invite Mr. Sipiwe Mchuno. from the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban to render this afternoon's vote of thanks CPUG Namaskar Greetings Namaskar Greetings to all of you 
on behalf of Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India, I am so honored today to deliver a vote of thanks on today's episode four of the program Antatan, meaning inner tone. I'd like to thank our online guest artist, Ms. Prudvi Kapurmat G, a singer, and also Ms. Pumzile Ndonim Selekuji, a singer, for conducting a sterling interaction about their experiences on synchronization of their inner tone. The interactions was very interesting. So to Prudviji, Doniji, I like to say thank you very much. Danyavat Siabongakulu. To Dr. Chaitana Prakash Yogi, Director of Swami Vivekananda Kacharat Center, Sristi Harinarayan, Sri Piyush Kandelwal, thank you very much for taking part on today's program. To all our online viewers who took part on today's program, we like to say thank you very much for having a time with us. Please visit our Facebook page for all cultural activities organized by Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center in Deben. Once again, Prudviji, Doniji, Danyavati, thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Namaskar. <laughs>